Hi there, and welcome to another Chaotic Classroom clip. This clip is aimed at Grade 8 Natural Science learners studying CAPS syllabus. And in this clip, we're going to deal with refraction when it comes to visible light. Now, remember, there's another video that I've done on reflection. You can check that out by clicking on the link here. So let's have a look at what refraction is. Now, the refraction is the ability of a wave to change direction or to bend when it passes from one medium to another. Now, remember when they talk about a medium, it could be things like air, glass, perspex, but that means that there's going to be a change from one medium to the next, so from air to glass or from glass to plastic or something like that. Now, when it comes to the mediums, we have to talk about the density. Now, if you're going to move to a more dense medium, the ray is going to bend towards the normal, and if you have a less dense uh, object that you are moving towards, it's going to move away from the normal. Now, just to refresh, of course, what's the normal again? If we have a surface like this, and we have a ray that is incoming and it's going to hit that surface, there's an imaginary line that is perpendicular, that means 90 degrees, to that surface. That is called the normal. So let's have a look at an example. On the left-hand side, we have air. On the right-hand side, we have glass. Now we know that air is less dense than glass. So let's have a look at the rays involved in how this light ray is going to refract. So here we have our incident ray. And remember the incident ray is the one that's coming in. Once you have your incident ray, the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna draw the normal. So 90 degrees or perpendicular to the surface. Now, remember we have the angle of incidence and the angle of incidence is between the incident ray and the normal, whether we're talking about reflection or refraction, it doesn't matter. Now, if this there was no surface here, this line would have continued all the way without being stopped. But now we're going from a something that is more dense. And we just learned that that means it needs to bend towards the normal. So instead of continuing straight, it's going to make a smaller angle. So that's going to be called the refracted ray. And that angle in between the refracted ray and the normal is going to be called the angle of refraction. And if we go from less dense to more dense, that angle of refraction is going to be smaller. Right, so let's have a look at an example. Here we have a block and they tell us that there's air where the light ray is coming in and the block is made of glass. So what is our first step? That is right. We draw the normal. That's always our first step. Now we know that air is less dense and glass is more dense, so the light ray is going to bend towards the normal and it's only going to continue until it reaches the next surface. What do we do now? We draw the normal again, but now we're going from glass, which is more dense, to air that is less dense, which means now we move away from the normal again. How about a triangle? So if we have a glass triangle like this, what is the first thing that we do? We draw the normal, perpendicular to the surface. And now the light ray is going to bend, not going straight, it's going to refract, it's going to bend towards the normal. So that angle is going to be slightly smaller. Once it reaches the plane of the next surface, we draw the normal again, and then this time we bend it away from the normal. What about a round prism? Step one, draw the normal. Step two, determine the density. Again, if it's going to be from air to glass, that means it's going to a more dense object, which means it's going to bend towards the normal. So instead of continuing with that straight line, that angle is going to be a little bit smaller and it continues until it reaches a new surface. And right there, we draw the normal again, but now we're going from glass to air again, so now we bend away from the normal. I hope this helps. Thank you for visiting the Chaotic Classroom.